Adding subtitles in DaVinci Resolve is super easy, but adding a translation to those subtitles can get a little bit tricky and time-consuming. Well, you should know that now there is a way on how you can almost automate the whole process. Let me show you how it's done in this video. Okay, congratulations, your project is done. Now you want to add subtitles to your timeline. First things first, uh, what you have to do, you have to select the limits of your timeline where you want DaVinci Resolve to introduce uh, subtitles. So, you know, you can press I and you can press O and you will you'll have uh, subtitles only on this area or you can drag these points to the beginning and to the end Okay, just like this, and DaVinci Resolve will introduce subtitles to my entire timeline. Now, perfect, that's what I need. Okay, for this, I'm gonna go to Timeline, click on Timeline, go to Create Subtitles from Audio, click on this, and here we are presented with a few options. Language, I need to select my language so it makes it easier for DaVinci Resolve to work. Uh, caption preset, I'm gonna go and leave it to subtitles default, maximum lines, Characters per line, I'm going to give it to 60. Lines, I'm going to do double uh, because it's easier to follow. And this is it. I'm going to go create. It's going to take a while. Normally, you know, maybe one, two, three minutes. It depends on the length of your project, but normally it doesn't take too long. Okay, so here we are. DaVinci Resolve introduced a subtitle track over here. I'm going to go quickly and change this to English subtitles. Okay, and here we are, all done. You can obviously go and, you know, change all the settings here on the right, you know, go to track and change the font and everything else. But the thing is, we don't need the English subtitle track. We need another language. Let's say, for instance, you want to add a French subtitles track. So for this, what we need to do, we're gonna go and export this subtitle track we're going to go here and choose export subtitle click on it and here you have to make sure that you follow me because this is very important uh, what you have to do here you have to go to this settings over here subtitles files and you have to click subtitle files without formatting it's very important otherwise it's not going to work and click save obviously choose your folder where you want to save it i've already created a subtitle folder so it's easier so I know where my subtitles are. Click Save. Now I'm going to go to Finder. I'm going to go to Desktop, Subtitles, Folder. And here it is. Here is my SRT file. This is a professional, you know, industry standard um, file for subtitles. I'm going to open it. You have to open it with a text editor if you're in Mac, if you're using a Mac computer or a notepad. OK, I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to go and search for text editor. And here it is. Double click on it. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to go and select all this text. Command A, Command C. I've copied it, you know, just copy it and that's it. And then next I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Chrome here. I'm going to open ChatGPT. And here I'm going to ask ChatGPT to help me with translating an SRT file. Okay, I'm going to go here and say can... To French, I'm gonna go and paste all that time code and translation and subtitles. Okay, let's have a look. Certainly, here is the French translation of the provided SRT file. And obviously, it's gonna take a while depending on how long your project is. I'm gonna go continue generating. Okay, here we are. And I'm going to go now and actually ask as a SRT track. You see, so you have to make sure you do this. Otherwise, it's not going to treat it as a SRT subtitles track. So you have to make sure you, you tell um, Chad GPT that this is actually a professional subtitle track. So, you know, it's going to go and do it again and do it the right way. Now it looks a little bit more professional. Now, actually, <laughs> I can say that I can trust that 
I'm gonna go continue generating. Okay, so here we are, all done. Now what I'm gonna do, so you see even this one here, it's all done professionally and I'm gonna show you a little thing here. You see, this starts with one and when I copy it, copy code, then it's not gonna copy all the text that, uh, you know, the chat GPT, um, normally this one, it actually was treated like a conversation or something. When you copy this, normally you'll copy certainly and all that stuff. So that's why it's very important to ask chat GPT if uh, it, um, it took it as a, you know, SRT subtitle track. So, you know, it's going to go and into a more professional mode or something. So it's going to do a better job. Okay, let's go now and save this French translation. So for this, I'm going to go to my text edit over here. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and go to file, duplicate this, and I'm not going to save it for now. I'm going to go and do command A, delete everything, command V, paste everything here. Check again if, if everything looks fine. Yeah, everything looks fine for now. Yeah, looks good, looks good. And even at the beginning, you can see I've got one here, I've got one there. So it looks very, very similar. Okay, that's good. One is English, one is French. Just, you know, make sure you double check. Um, next, what I'm going to do, this is very important. Go to File go to save when you come here you have to untoggle this okay toggle this off see if there is no extension it's providing use txt we don't need txt we need dot srt okay and go here and obviously change this to french okay french subtitles delete the copy and then do dot srt all right and then where subtitle is fine okay i'm gonna go and save it nice okay next what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to davinci resolve i'm going to select another subtitle track and i'm gonna do french subtitles again i want to remind you you can do subtitles you know from english you can translate it to basically any language you really want. I'm going to go and disable this track. I'm going to go here and bring my French subtitle file into DaVinci Resolve. Here it is. I'm going to go drag it in. Here it is. I'm going to go and drag it here. So now, as you can see, this is actually perfectly matched to my to my English one. For some reason it missed a little track there, but then, you know, that's no problem. You can go here and drag this here to this, go and delete this, go here, control, command this text, and then you can go and grab this text from here, from English, copy it, and then go to chat GPT again, and then put the text translate to French. Boom. Okay, copy it, go back to DaVinci Resolve and then come here and then introduce the text. And here we are. Uh, you know, I mean, look, it took me, you know, 30 seconds to add a, a window with a subtitle in, in French. So I'll better do this then spend another day, you know, at translating manually. And this is it, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you know, this is it, it works, it's, it's fine, it's perfect. So you can add as many subtitles track to this and you, you can change and you can actually translate your video in as many languages as you want, um, as many languages as actually ChatGPT can translate to. I'm sure there are many. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. It motivates me to create even more and better videos just like this. And if you enjoy what I do on this channel, then please buy me a coffee. I love coffee, you know, but no more than two a day and no sugar. Thank you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.